Korean Culture Day in Nebraska is this Friday. Joining me now is Suk Young Joon and Dr. Chris Heselton, both with UNL. And I want to thank you both for stopping by and talking about this very important event coming up. Uh, right out the gate, uh, tell us a little bit about Korean Culture Day. Well, thank you for having us and allowing us to share this event. Um, yeah, so I, we just wanted to let the Lincoln community know that uh, this Friday, the Korean Culture Center of Los Angeles with uh, the Global Experience Office at UNL will be holding the first ever Korean Culture Day. Um, this will be a unique uh, hands-on event uh, that anyone uh, in the community uh, is free to come to. Uh, anyone who is interested in learning more about Korean culture and experiencing and learning more about it is welcome to come. So it's going to be held uh, this Friday on October 20th at 1 o'clock p.m. at Carolyn Pope Edwards Hall. Um, at UNL City Campus. Um, so this is just a great opportunity for people in the Lincoln community to really learn and experience Korean culture. W going right off that, what kind of experiences will people be able to uh, explore? Well, there are several fun activities prepared for this event so that our visitors can experience Korean culture. Um, we will have a Taekwondo team from Omaha. They'll do demonstration and they'll throw on workshops so that our visitors can learn um, some Taekwondo moves or how to kick with Taekwondo spirit. Um, another thing that uh, you can do is look at, um, I mean, uh, later, please take a look at this beautiful hanbok. Um, this is a sample hanbok that I could find in Lincoln, but on that day, uh, Korean Culture Center of LA, they're going to bring a high quality um, traditional clothes uh, that um, the King of Joseon period used to wear. Like we're seeing here in this video. Yes, absolutely. Yes, there you go. Uh, those uh, King and Queen traditional clothes. You can dress like the chief of police officer in that era. <laughs> and um, you can also wear uh, something like a scholar. Uh, and uh, you can take a picture and y it's going to be a lot of fun. There will be Korean snack. I don't yeah, know we see all these snacks here. Tell us about the food. Yes. So um, we um, we are going to bring in a lot of different types of snacks so that our visitors can try um, these delicious snacks for free. And so yes, please bring your friends and family members. It's going to be a lot of fun. Another thing that um, our visitors can do is uh, we uh, there will be a booth for Korean traditional games. So yunnori or dakjichigi. I don't know if you have seen Squid Game, but there's a section that shows dakjichigi. Uh, so you can play those games. And lastly, um, we are inviting a K-pop cover dance group from Minnesota. Uh, and they are going to do K-pop cover dance performance and also workshop. So if K-pop is your thing, please come. Um, all those cultural events are from 1 to 2.30, so that's a time when you want to come for um, culture activities. But for K-pop cover dance and workshop, that's from 3.30. Okay, 3.30. Yes. And so we're running out of time here. What are the final details on this event one last time so people know? Uh, so we're going to be at the Carolyn uh, Pope Edwards Hall at UNL City Campus. It's on October 20th, this Friday, uh, from 1 o'clock until about 5 o'clock. Um, and the one tricky thing is parking, so um, just be sure to uh, research where you're going to park beforehand. Absolutely. So many great experiences. Thank you both for stopping by today.